It is May 2020 and we are making personal protective equipment. So this right here is a face shield and it comes, it's made out of a 3D printed part and a clear plastic part. We can 3D print the 3D printed part into exactly the right shape. But the plastic that we get comes like this without any holes in it. So we need to put holes in it. Um, the plastic part was designed so that these three holes, the ones on the left, so like that one, that one, and that one, those three nubs, the distance between them is the same as the distance between these. Um, and so what we want to do is put holes up here, uh, three pairs, two there, two there, and two there, just like this one. And we want those holes to line up with these. We know that these are an inch apart from each other and that this set of three matches up with this distance and this set of three matches up with that distance. So what we need to do is uh, basically if we get the center hole right uh, in the middle but uh, an in half an inch to either side, so that there's an, a full inch between the two holes, then the outer holes will just line up. We know that this is 11 and a quarter inches wide. So we can see right there, uh, 11 and a quarter inches wide. Um, and we know that the distance from this edge right here to the center of the center hole is five and a half inches. So it says right there, five and a half inches. Um, so if we were to stick this uh, clear sheet in and then hole punch and then uh, flip it over and hole punch again, we would get holes that are not quite the right spacing. So we made this thing, this is our solution, we made a little thing so that we can stick the clear plastic in and then we hole punch and flip it over and then put it right up against this thing again, and you can see the holes that we just made are sticking out there to the side of where the new holes are gonna be punched. So there, now these holes are an inch apart from each other, and the outer two holes just line up because this was designed with that in mind. So the question is, how big is this? And a further question is, this is something that actually happened to us, these clear sheets, we went with a different uh, solution before, a different kind of clear sheet that was a slightly bigger uh, size. So we needed a different size of this little spacer thing on the hole punch. Um, so how big should this hole punch be? That's one problem. And then another problem is, let's say that you don't know how big this is going to be. You might change up a few different times how what size of this thing you have. What's a formula for figuring out how big this thing should be? Um, and we could have, for this specific one, we could have just guessed and checked and then made it bigger or smaller as we needed to, but then we would have wasted the plastic sheets and the shipments of plastic sheets are actually getting canceled because people are running out of these things because everybody's ordering these. Um, I actually just had a shipment of 300 of these get canceled. I got a refund, but I also didn't get the sheets. So I need to use the sheets that I have. Um, I can't just start punching holes and then if it doesn't work, go to the next sheet because I only have so many sheets. That's the problem. <laughs>